short video will give you an introduction to booklets. Uh, booklets are another kind of output in a similar way to compiled help or web help. So I'm going to um, create a new booklet in my existing project here that already contains a bunch of topics and is already producing web output and compiled HTML output. That's one of the key things about booklets. They are a collection of your existing content. They don't require that you author specifically for booklets. They're a way of collecting that content together in a printable medium. So I'm going to start by clicking the new booklet ribbon button and that will create a new booklet and open it for me for edit. Um, and uh, the first time I open up my new booklet I get this little advisory message at the top here which tells me that there is a quick start page available for booklets. So if we're new to booklets and we want to get up and running quickly uh, that's a really good way to do it. So I'm going to click on that link and that will take me to the booklet quick start page. So I'll give this booklet a name and a title and I'm just going to pull down the template sample expander here and that will give me an idea of what the style of the template I'm using for the booklet output is going to, going to be. So I'm going to have a quick look at the other two styles here. I think I'll go for this one with the blue banded headers and footers. So there's some settings for page layout here and there's also a setting that um, determines which content is going to be included in this booklet. So the default here is to include everything that I've already included on my table of contents in the same structure. Um, so I can either just stick with that or I can include a specific set of items in the booklet. Now this option is really useful if you're planning on creating a whole bunch of booklets with small subsets of your content in. So you're not looking to create an overall booklet mirroring the online help but instead looking to create perhaps a getting started guide or tutorials, some such subset of your overall project content. So I think we're ready to go now. We've got a basic booklet that includes the same content as the uh, project. Um, I've decided that I'm going to go with the A4 page layout portrait and I've chosen a template. So I'm going to go ahead and build the booklet straight away. So I skipped all forward here to the end of the build and you can see that my booklet has been created with a table of contents with the topic content from the main project. Now one thing that's worth pointing out here is that the uh, links, the hyperlinks in the content are by default converted such that they are readable links in the generated output. So if you're looking at a printed page, this link actually makes sense. It tells me where to go in the booklet in order to find that particular link. Now this is something that's optional. You can enable hyperlinks in the generated output so that people can click in order to navigate to the target of that link. But this is a great way to make sure that your content remains readable when it's printed out and doesn't rely on hyperlinking to, for our users to be able to find their way amongst the content. So the booklet I created earlier is now listed under my build profiles here. So it's similar to um, any other output profile. And I can create multiple booklets, as I mentioned earlier, in a single project. So I can slice my content up into smaller booklets that um, I may want to be able to give my users to be able to print individually. And I can edit all the properties of the booklet in the same way as I would any other build profile. So all of those options I changed on the uh, Quick Start page are available in the full booklet editor here. The page layout with more options for margins, for header and footer margins and also um, several other options to do with page numbering, uh, setting up the header and footer, choosing which options to show in the PDF viewer by default, and the content editor if I choose to include a specific set of items here. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to modify this um, booklet to include just a section on suppliers rather than the whole content of my sample project here. So I've chosen to include a specific set of items and I'm going to choose just these three topics here. So I'm going to multi-select on the Project Explorer here by clicking an item and then holding down Shift, selecting the second item, it will select all the items in between. And I'm just going to drag those topics across to the designer here in the booklet editor. Um, and they appear on the booklet content list here. So my booklet will now include the table of contents, these three topics, and I'll just order those, whoops, order those around a little to make more sense and a booklet index page at the end here. So I'm going to go ahead and build that booklet once again and I can do that either by clicking the main build button and selecting just that booklet here or as a shortcut I can click build from the Project Explorer directly and that will build it immediately. Okay so here's my revised booklet with just those topics that I elected to include and this time around I've included the um, index as well so we can see that index generated using my existing keywords I'd already defined for my online output. 
So that concludes this short video overview to booklets.